ever pondered over the accuracy of the fitness advice you hear around you? In the vast universe of fitness, a myriad of myths and misconceptions orbit around us like distant stars. They're often so ingrained in our daily lives that we rarely question their validity. This misinformation isn't just misleading, it can potentially cause harm, steering you away from your fitness goals, or worse, leading you down a path of injury. From the no pain, no gain mentality, to the belief that more sweat equals more fat burn, these myths are as persistent as they are erroneous. That's where we come in. Our mission, to debunk these popular fitness myths, to bring clarity to the cloudy skies of fitness advice. We're here to arm you with the right information so you can make informed decisions about your health and fitness. So, are you ready to separate fact from fiction? Let's venture into the world of fitness myths. How many times have you heard the phrase, no pain, no gain? This well-worn mantra of the fitness world suggests that if you're not pushing yourself to the point of discomfort, then you're not working out effectively. But is this really true? Let's debunk this myth. Exercise can sometimes be uncomfortable, especially when we're challenging our muscles to grow stronger. This is what we refer to as good pain, a sensation of muscle fatigue. But there's a stark difference between muscle fatigue and the bad pain that signals potential injury. Bad pain can manifest as sharp, persistent discomfort, or pain that persists even after you've finished your workout. This is your body's way of telling you that something isn't quite right. Ignoring these signals can lead to serious injuries, undermining your fitness goals. So remember, pain does not always equal gain. Listen to your body and know your limits. Ever believed that more sweat equals more fat burned? Quite a popular belief in the fitness world, isn't it? But let's clear the air here. This is a myth. Sweat is not a fat burning agent. It's your body's natural cooling system. When your body heats up, you sweat to cool down. It's like your body's very own air conditioner, if you will. Now, don't get it twisted. Yes, you might lose weight after a sweat-drenched workout, but that's primarily water weight, and you'll gain it back as soon as you rehydrate. Fat burning, on the other hand, is a more complex process. It involves your metabolism, your heart rate, and the intensity of your workout. It's not about how much you sweat, but how hard you're working. So don't sweat it. Your workout's effectiveness isn't measured by how drenched your gym clothes are. Ever thought you could lose fat from a specific part of your body by doing targeted exercises? This is a widely held belief in the world of fitness, known as the myth of spot reduction. It suggests that you can selectively shed fat from your body by focusing on exercises that target that particular area. Let's say you're not too happy with your belly fat. You might think that doing hundreds of sit-ups every day will make that fat disappear. Unfortunately, that's not quite how our bodies work. When you exercise, your body doesn't just pull energy from the nearby fat cells. Instead, it breaks down fat from all over the body to use as fuel. This process occurs uniformly across the body, not just in the areas you're working out. So, while those sit-ups might help strengthen your abdominal muscles, they won't specifically burn belly fat. Remember, targeted exercises can tone muscles, but they cannot spot reduce fat. Ever heard that women will bulk up if they lift weights? It's a common myth that's been circulating in the fitness world for quite some time. The belief is that if a woman so much as glances at a dumbbell, she'll suddenly transform into a muscle-bound she-hulk. But let's bust this myth wide open. You see, bulking up is a process that involves significant muscle growth. The hormone most responsible for this growth is testosterone. Now here's the catch. Women typically produce only a fraction of the testosterone that men do. So even if they follow the same weightlifting regimen, women won't bulk up to the same extent as men. Moreover, muscle growth also depends on diet, genetics, and the specific type of training regimen. Therefore, the fear of becoming overly muscular shouldn't deter women from lifting weights. So ladies, don't be afraid of those weights. Strength training is for everyone. So, we've traversed the terrain of fitness myths. Let's recap. First, we explored the age-old adage of no pain, no gain. While it's true that a good workout can leave you feeling sore, pushing yourself to the point of pain is neither beneficial nor safe. Exercise should challenge you, but it shouldn't cause you physical harm. Listen to your body and know your limits. Next up was the myth that more sweat equals more fat burn. Sweating is simply your body's method of cooling down. 
not an indicator of how much fat you're burning. Intensity of the workout and your metabolic rate are the true factors for fat burn. So don't be deceived by the sweat. Then, we debunk the misconception of spot reduction. The truth is that it's impossible to target fat loss in specific areas of your body through exercise alone. Your body decides where to shed fat, and it's usually a whole body process. So, those endless crunches won't necessarily flatten your stomach. Our fourth myth was the fear that women will bulk up if they lift weights. Ladies, lifting weights will not turn you into the Hulk overnight. Women naturally have less testosterone, the hormone that influences muscle growth. So, weightlifting will more likely result in a toned physique rather than a bulky one. In this journey of myth-busting, we've learned that fitness is not a one-size-fits-all concept. It's essential to separate fact from fiction to achieve your health and fitness goals. The importance of fact-based fitness information cannot be overstressed. It's crucial to continue learning and questioning because what works for one person may not work for another. And remember, the most effective workout is the one you enjoy and can stick to consistently. And that's a wrap on fitness myths. Remember, when it comes to fitness, knowledge is power. Stay informed, stay healthy.